Hey guys, when, welcome to Wednesday's home workout for this week. So let's get straight into our warm up. So we're gonna start by loosening those hips. So we're gonna start in our couch strength. So foot up on our bench or on the edge of our couch. Sit down, knee to the floor, sit back into it. Chest up nice and tall. Tucking that pelvis under, squeeze the glute joint back and forward. Open up that right hip flexor and quad. If you want to intensify the stretch, we can also turn our body to face the other way so we can stay our strength in that side. We're going to go 45 seconds on our right side and then change 45 seconds on our opposite side. Once your both sides done, we're going to come down to the floor. We're just going to go into our splits work to open up that hamstring and that hip again. So try to slide that front heel as far out away from our back knee as possible and then once we've got those separate as much as we can, we can lean our chest down slightly towards our knee, keeping our back nice and flat so we feel that hamstring stretch, pointing our toe, locking out our knee. Get a good 30 seconds on our right side, and then same thing, 30 seconds on our left. Once we've got both sides done then, we're gonna do some sort of calf stretch. So for me, going in against my wall or the last step on my stairs and just spending 30 seconds inside just really trying to stretch it out kind of dip that heel down as far as I can to the floor drive that knee and hip forward okay again good 30 seconds on your right side 30 seconds on your left and I'm just going to finish the round with some light skipping so um, what I notice myself when I do skipping metcons um, and what I notice a lot of time with other people watching them do it on zoom or in person is as we kind of get close, get further into the rounds, people skipping tend to improve. Okay, so what that tells me is it's a skill, and the skill hasn't been properly warmed up to be ready to go for that metcon. So quickly jump on Zoom, don't even bother doing any stretches. First two or three rounds out of five rounds, you're literally warming up the movement, you're only getting used to it. So what we're doing is just throwing some warming up of that skipping into our warm up today. So either do maybe 50 single unders or maybe try and do 20 double unders, depending on which version you're looking to do. Just literally to warm it up, get the rhythm and the balance and the consistency warmed up, ready to go and also warm up those calf muscles. Okay, so, about 30 seconds of warming up, your double unders, your single unders there guys, at the end of each round of that warm up, get three rounds done in total. Make sure you have that skip and warmed up, ready to go with those calves, loosen out, ready to go before we start today's neck up. So today guys, we're gonna go for three minutes of work with one minute rest, we're gonna go for five, uh, five rounds in total. So we're gonna go double unders or single unders in minute one, accumulate as many reps as possible. Okay, if you are someone who is fairly um, comfortable with skipping, you're doing single unders, your end goal is should be to try and do all five rounds, all one minute intervals unbroken. That should be the end goal. Okay, so still see a lot of people and who can skip, who can do single unders very comfortably, but they don't have the consistency to go unbroken within a minute. Okay, they just have too many trip ups, they're trying to go either too fast or too slow. Um, just try and pick a pace where you can go nice and steady and try and get as close to unbroken for that minute as you can. Okay, if you're not, you're doing double unders. If you're doing double unders, break up the reps whatever way you see fit. Small little chunks, don't overdo it. 20, 25 reps at a time at most. Um, and just take little breaks and go again. Minute two, we're gonna do lunges. Okay, any side of a lunge, reverse forward. So it's up to you if you want to go reverse lunges, if you want to go forward lunges. Most people will find forward lunge a little bit more difficult. Or if you've got the space, you can always go walking lunge. Okay, uh, alternating legs all the way through. We're going to transition straight from the skipping into that uh, lunge. Um, for everyone, I would recommend just going body weight on those. If you really want to push yourself and challenge yourself and you think you'll, you'll be able to go for the minute unbroken for all five rounds, then and only then should you add in maybe a, some sort of light dumbbell into your lunge to make it more challenging. Okay, but if you don't think you can go the full minute unbroken for all five rounds, don't add in the weight. I'd rather get more reps, okay, at a nice steady pace. Minute three then, we're going to come down to the ground and we're going to go sit ups. So arms fully extended, heels touch the ground, hands touch the ground. That's the start of each rep, and at the end of each rep, we're gonna come up, heels right in, 
later and I twitch the ground and I grab my knees and my chest is close to my knees as I can get it. That's the end of each round. So start the next round, heels and hands to the ground, up, grab in the middle. Three, a minute three, accumulate as many sit-ups as possible and then we're going to get a one minute rest. And again, as usual, we're looking for consistency, okay, and efficiency and quality reps throughout our five rounds. So three minutes of work, one minute rest, five rounds, okay. Let's get after this one today, guys. Nice, consistent challenge one, okay, that most people can do. All you need today is a skip and run for today's Mecca. See you guys later.